I am not going to explain the whole microarray, but I will explain few few difficult terms. The first term is chip. Now, what does chip means? The chip means chip is interchangeable term for microarray. See here, there are lot of these small arrays. So these are small, so they are called microarray or chip. Okay, so it is basically the same term. Another term is single nucleotide polymorphism. What does that mean? See, suppose this is the specific sequence of DNA. It means okay, so, sorry, specific sequence of uh, nucleotides in a uh, DNA. Now, in one person, this is the sequence. In another person, the sequence might means there is uh, some different nucleotide in one place. See, suppose here A G C T T. In second person, it can be A G C G T. Okay. In third person, it can be A G C T G. So see, there is a single nucleotide change in every person and this is the one of the reason why one human being is different from another human being another term is copy number variation suppose in one person there are the same gene is repeated two times on the chromosome okay but in another person it is repeated seven times in some other person it can be repeated suppose ten times the same gene okay so this is called copy number variations different uh, some genes the same gene is repeated in different numbers in different person okay another test is ELISA test and it is one it is quite simple test uh, it there are two types a direct ELISA test and indirect ELISA test in direct ELISA test we can we detect antigen in indirect we can detect antigen or antibody but usually it is antibody in direct ELISA test we take the blood sample of a patient suppose the patient is HIV patient so when we take the blood sample and suppose the patient is HIV positive okay so when we take the blood sample there, there will be HIV antigen in his blood now what we will do we will add preformed antibodies against that HIV antigen okay and we will mix both now these antigen have enzyme and these enzyme give fluorescence when the antibody binds to the antigen so when when we will mix both the antigen and antibody complex will be formed and this enzyme will give the fluorescence so if there is absence of color, color or fluorescence then it means that the test is positive and the person is having HIV in indirect test suppose we want to find the uh, antibodies against the HIV so what we will do we will uh, we will take preformed HIV antigens okay now we will take the blood sample from patient Okay, and the blood sample from patient will obviously contain antibodies. Now, when we will we will mix both of them, there will be antigen antibody complex. Okay. Now, what we will do? We, we will add secondary antibodies in these, and these secondary antibodies they contain enzymes. Okay. Now, what these secondary antibodies will do? They will they will bind to this antigen antibody complex. So basically these secondary antibodies will bind to the primary antibodies and now the complex formed will be like this. Okay. So if there is presence of antibodies in the blood of patient, these antibodies will give color or immunofluorescence, uh, sorry, fluorescence due to uh, the presence of the enzyme. Okay. The last thing which we will discuss is gene expression modification and what gene expression modification means by using some t uh, techniques or strategies we can increase the gene expression or we can decrease the gene expression and the two main thing which we need to remember uh, when I mean two different systems uh, we, which we need to remember is Cree locks system and RNA interference what is Cree locks system see the Cree here means CRE recombinase enzyme it is the name of a recombinase enzyme sorry for the spellings it's difficult while recording see CRE means CRE recombinase enzyme and what LOX means LOX, LOX means the target sequence on which the CRE recombinase enzyme is going to work target sequence okay so that's why this is called Cree lock system now what Cree recombinase enzyme will do see suppose this is a DNA sequence or, or suppose some gene sequence on the DNA now this recombinase enzyme will go and bind there and either it will co cause insertion of gene it can cause deletion of gene or it can also cause translocation of the gene or it can cause uh, inversion of the gene okay so this Cree recombinase enzyme 
it will work on the locks that is the target sequence and it will cause gene insertion deletion and in this way it will affect the gene expression okay so this is Cree lock system now what is RNA interference system see uh, we take mRNA and from it we made double stranded uh, double stranded RNA no need to go, uh, go into the detail how why this double stranded RNA is made and all that okay so we will make double stranded RNA now we will insert it into human cell and after going into the human cell it will again be separated and form single stranded RNA and these uh, means this double stranded RNA now their strands will destroy the mRNA present in the cell now as this mRNA is destroyed now the gene expression is uh, slowed down or it, it, the term is given knocking down so the gene expression we are decreasing the gene expression in this way so this is called RNA interference so these are the two techniques Cree lock system and RNA interference which we can use to uh, change the gene expression either by insertion we can increase or by this deletion and all that method or destroying the mRNA we can decrease the gene expression so that's it for the lab techniques in biochem